Hey mamas, this is Mama Shira. Welcome to DIY Mama Tribe, home of the nap time warrior who's just trying to get some DIY and craft in while the baby is napping. So guys, today I am so excited about this DIY. I did some faux Spanish tiles on my front staircase because they were kind of open and like the treads had open spaces between them. There were no facings on them at all. And I just wanted to make it safer for my baby for, you know, right now we have things gated, but at some point she's gonna need to go up and down those stairs without falling through. So I wanna share with you how I did this DIY. I am so happy with the outcome, so let's get into it. So I just wanted to start out with my inspiration for this project. Um, I found this online searching. I just love the colors and the look of it. And this is the before picture. This is the front stairway um, in the entrance to my home. And as you can see, there are lots of open slats. So I started by taking the measurements both across for each section as well as vertically to get measurements right. Because what I did was get a piece of um, two by four quarter inch Luan. I actually got two pieces from Lowe's, got myself a circular saw and learned how to use it and just cut those down. Of course, measured several times and cut them down with the circular saw. I found that for using it, the saw the first time, it was just like sewing. You just have to pay attention to where your lines are and go slow to stay on the line to make sure you get straight cuts. So I dry fitted my first one just to make sure I was on the right track and it fit. So I went forward with cutting the rest of the board pieces. The next step for me was to use some primer. I love to use Kills. It's the best primer I've ever used for any project. And I just did two coats of primer on all of my wood planks, those pieces of Luan. Now, once I got my planks all primed up and twice and got them dry, I used this set of stencils um, that were six inch by six inch and there were all these different patterns. So I think there were like six patterns. Um, so the key here is when you're buying stencils, make sure you're buying um, the size that's gonna be the best fit for your wood planks if you're doing a similar project and make sure that you give them enough space so that they actually look like tiles so i eyeballed it but i laid out my stencils you can't see them because they're clear um, on this white wood but i laid them out first just in the spacing that i wanted to do and i chose two colors that were similar to my inspiration picture and just alternated them. As you can see, I did some with more than one color on at a time. Um, I did have one that needed to repeat because it was, when I spaced out the stencils, it was enough for seven tiles and I had six stencils. So I had chose one as the repeating tile. Um, but yeah, this worked out really, really well for me. And I just repeated, I painted the exact same way for each stencil. So like if I had a fully green stencil, then it was fully green for all of the tiles. And if you can see here, what I'm doing is laying them out so that they, like whichever was the first one, in the first tile became the second one on the second plank so that it would mimic a um, diagonal pattern, um, which will be more clear when you see the planks up on the stairs 
Once my patterns were dry, after I painted the stencils, I sealed it with some Mod Podge that was a matte finish and then let that dry. And then it was on to the installation. Of course, my one of my inspectors had to come through and make sure everything was going fine. But to install these Luan planks that have been painted like Spanish tiles, I used some Gorilla Glue construction adhesive. Not the glue, the construction adhesive. As you can see, it's like this thick white adhesive. It's very strong. It's meant for construction projects. Usually a lot more heavier than this lightweight Luan. So I wanted to make sure that these stair facings were not going to go anywhere. And I just held them on for 30 to 60 seconds for each piece. Now that first, that top piece went on a full plank of wood, but every other piece just has those, you'll see those two um, connection beams between them. So I just loaded them up with Luan and held them there for 30 to 60 seconds as I went along. I just had to make sure that I used the planks in the order that I painted them so that the diagonal tile pattern would still work out. I had to slide that under the railing. Line it up just so and hold it on there. All in all, this project was a lot of steps, but it was really easy. And I think has a lot of visual bang for the buck. So I'm just working my way down the stairs, putting on the Gorilla Glue construction adhesive, picking up the right painted plank and holding it on there to secure it. Another inspection. Cats, man, they have to know what you're up to. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. It's making sure none of the adhesive is sliding through, but guys, that's the project. How about that? And you can see more clearly how moving the stencils down by one as I was painting creates this diamond pattern effect um, with each tile style. When I painted them, I made sure that I painted over the edges so that you would get the full tile effect. I didn't worry about mistakes. All of them are not super, super perfect, but I think that adds to the feel of that old world sort of Mexican Spanish tile effect.
So yeah, guys, I'm totally happy with this. I'm glad that it's something that looks nice. And now my daughter won't fall through the stairs when she learns to climb them. So what do you think? Comment below. Seriously though, guys, I love how this came out. It was easier than I thought it would be. The stencils make it super, super easy. And all it really took was some elbow grease and ingenuity to make it all come together and all happen. So if you have a project similar and you have questions, please put them in the comments below. If you like this video, by all means, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe below, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.